his imperial control. This was the strategic crossroads between east and west, between mountain and sea. This is where the incompatibles of climate and cultures meet and blend in total harmony now. Moster lies on the boundary between continental and Mediterranean weather, making it at the peak of summer the warmest spot in Europe, and making this part of Moster itself a place of great charm and oriental serenity. There are 14 Turkish mosques in Moster, no fewer than 11 of them still in regular use for worship. Indeed, one third of the population here is Muslim. And this particular one, the mosque of Koski Mehmed Pasha, is one of the architectural gems of the town. It was built some 350 years ago in 1617. And it's the only mosque in Mostar that still has all its original paintwork and decorations. And here at noon every day, and especially on Fridays, the faithful gather for their prayers facing Mecca and the East. And here too, those who have achieved pilgrimage to Mecca return bearing gifts of precious Turkish carpets for their mosque. And for the faithful and the infidel alike, the top of the minaret above the mosque affords the most breathtaking views over the old city and the great river that runs through Moster's veins, the river Neretva. The Neretva, brawling down the spectacular gorges of the valley route from Sarajevo, has gouged out here a natural frontier. Whoever would cross it must control it. And so, centuries ago, when Queen Elizabeth of England was still young on the throne, the Turks built a bridge across the river, a masterpiece of medieval Turkish architecture. It's called by connoisseurs one of the most beautiful bridges in the world. What the Rialto is to Venice, the Turkish bridge is to Mostar strong and slender, an arch superb in its perfection, an arch without mortar or cement. It seems to hold itself aloft by magic, delicate and graceful and simply exquisite. But not content with just admiring it, the young bloods of Moster feel an irresistible urge to leap off it every now and again. So I asked Veselko Bosnich, who was born in America but has lived in Moster for the last few years, to explain this phenomenon to me. They say that a young boy was once crossing the bridge carrying one of those big copper plates. And a strong wind blew and it blew him off the bridge. But fortunately he hit the water with the plate on his shoulder, so nothing happened to him. Well, as he uh, came out safely, the authorities then uh, said that a fence should be put on the bridge, and that's why there's an iron railing on the bridge now. But uh, the people living here in Mostar, the young people, saw sport in it, and they started jumping and diving off the bridge. And uh, that is the main reason, is to prove themselves, to prove their manhood. To show off for the girls? Yes. Did anyone ever kill them? Uh, accidents have happened, yes, but uh, the last accident that has happened was, I think, three or four years ago. How high is it compared with what, say, an Olympic high diving champion would do? Oh, it's higher. It's higher, and uh, it's uh, almost 30 meters high, which all depends on the water level. That brings us to the end of our look at Yugoslavia. 
In the 50 minutes available, it hasn't been possible to bring you more than just a flavor of this complex and fascinating country. But we do hope you've enjoyed being with us. We're going to finish with another piece of traditional Yugoslavia. This is a folk dance called the Moreshka, which dates back to the Middle Ages. It's said to symbolize the conflict between the Moors and the Turks, or the Moors and the Christians, depending on which particular version you happen to favor. It tells the story of two men who have the misfortune to fancy the same woman. The Black King kidnaps the woman, and the Red King sets out to take her back by force. As in all good stories, good triumphs over evil, the Black King is vanquished, and the Red King and the woman fall into each other's arms and achieve everlasting happiness. Now, in the sequence we're about to see, the woman tries to persuade the men to stop fighting, but of course, being men, they decide to fight on anyhow, which is just as well, because if they hadn't, there probably wouldn't have been any dance. From Yugoslavia, we say, do vidje. The 92nd season of the Promenade Concert.